You know, as I run my eye over all of these beautiful clematis that we have assembled here on this wagon, I wanted to show you a couple that will give you the opportunity to grow some beautiful flowering vines depending upon whatever height you need in the garden. Take, for example, this beautiful red variety here, which is called Clematis Niobe. This is a very nice variety that goes back all the way to 1970 when it was introduced first from Poland. Bred by Wadyslaw Knoll, here's one that gets to about eight to 10 foot high. Marvelous for scrambling up an arbor, an archway, a trellis, anywhere where it's going to grow up and carry its buds throughout the flowering vine and then produce these beautiful, richly colored red flowers as you see. Starts to flower in early summer and then we'll take a little bit of a break in the middle of the summer and come back and give another nice flush in the fall again. Free flowering but grows about 8 to 10 foot high. Now, if on the other hand you wanted something that's going to be a little bit more compact and still produce big, lush red flowers, as you see, with a slight white bar down the middle of them, then you might want to go for this variety that's called Clematis Bourbon, which was raised by Raymond Everson and Polson Breeding in Denmark. As you see, this particular variety is really spectacular too, but this one will only get to about five to six foot high. So you've got your choice when you go into the garden center, certainly admire all of these gorgeous flowers and look at the amount of buds that they're producing and you'll be able to then choose the variety that will be right for your particular situation. This is Clematis Bourbon, five to six foot high, and then this is Bourbon that gets to about twice that height, somewhere about 10 foot high.